Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am picking up exactly where I left off in the last vlog. It's currently Thursday night and we're gonna do a little weekend in my life. And I'm very excited because I am gonna be doing hair again in a salon for the first time in almost a year. I've been a licensed cosmetologist since the beginning of 2018. I love it. It's my passion, but I got really burnt out. And then in the beginning of December, this past December, I moved from Pennsylvania to North Carolina. I just wanted a little bit of a break. And then what I thought was going to just be like maybe a three month break ended up being almost a year later. So haven't done hair since the beginning of December. It's now the end of October. So it's been a while. I've still been doing it obviously on like friends and family here and there on the side at home, but it's so different compared to like actually doing it in a salon on clients that you don't know, like on a stranger, you know? So I started working in a salon a couple months ago, doing the front desk, being around the other stylists, seeing them do hair all day, it was definitely making me start to miss it. So I decided that I am gonna start taking clients on Saturdays, on just like occasional Saturdays. And that way I'll have very limited availability, which will allow me to be super selective about the clients I take and the hair that I choose to do. I'm not gonna have my schedule just like open. I'm not doing online booking. So I literally am only gonna do hair when I want to and only do the type of services that I want to do. I feel like this will be kind of the perfect balance for me because I'll still get to do it, but I'm not going to be overdoing it to the point where then it's going to make me get burnt out again. That's the plan. That's what's going on. And the Saturday is when I'm going to be having my first clients, but we'll talk more about that later. Right now, I pulled out my big bin of hair stuff. I'm just going to go through it and pull out stuff that I need. Water bottle, I will be bringing that. I have my hand mirror. Ooh, my aprons. I have two. I think I'm gonna use the denim one. Framar detangling brushes. These are a must have for me in my kit. I love them. They're like the wet brush, but so much better in my opinion. Then I have all of my round brushes. These are the Cricut round brushes. These are pretty good. I also really like the Olivia Garden ones, but those are pricier. These I feel like are the best round brushes you can get for the price. Like if you're looking for a more affordable price, these are super good. A couple of combs. Then I have my Babyliss flat iron then i have this one and a quarter inch hot tools curling iron love this thing i have a few clips in here i love these butterfly clips these are good if you need to hold like a lot of hair or if you have someone re with really thick hair and then i love alligator clips because you can section with these at the same time so especially when i'm cutting hair i always use these then I have a bunch of basic combs for doing haircuts with. I got this whole little box from Cosmoprof. Highly recommend, you never have too many combs. And especially if you're working in a salon with a bunch of other people, you tend to get your stuff mixed up. Combs, clips, those kinds of things tend to get lost. So it's always good to have a bunch of extras. And then foiling combs. I always get the extra long foiling combs because the foils just fit over this so much better. And then I also have stuff in these drawers. So let's see, I have more clips. So I'm just gonna bring all of the clips that I have. I have another long foiling comb. And then of course I need my shears. I'm working the front desk at the salon tomorrow. So when I'm there tomorrow, I will just double check and see 
what other stuff I might need but I just kind of wanted to get all of this out and ready to go because tomorrow is gonna be a really long busy day and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get to it tomorrow I have this tote bag here I think it should all fit in there I'm actually gonna wash this tonight because it doesn't smell bad but it kind of smells like it's just been sitting in a box for months because it has so I am going to throw this in the wash and then go to bed because it is 10 p.m. I have to be at the salon at 8 o'clock. So I'll be getting up at about 6. I'll see you tomorrow. When I tell you I almost had a heart attack when I opened that door. That was not there last night. Sit. Wait. Okay, good boy. I'm gonna head out the door soon. This was the best that I could muster up at seven in the morning. The sun is not even up yet. So I'm just grabbing a couple things I'm gonna bring with me because I'm gonna be working a longer shift today. I get in at eight and the earliest that I'm probably gonna get out of there is five o'clock. So my friend luckily is the best, she's amazing. She's gonna come by later this afternoon to let Benny out and she's gonna bring her dog to play with him. The same dog that I was dog sitting a couple weeks ago, if you guys saw those vlogs. So. Got our coffee. I made some hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna take these to go as well. I'm also gonna bring a Greek yogurt and a little mandarin orange. Tonight I'm planning on going to my friend's house, the same one that's coming over to take Benny out. We are having a wing off at her place. I'm not really sure who's gonna be there or what we're doing exactly, but I think we're just all making wings and we're just all gonna eat like do a different sauce and we're just gonna eat wings. Knowing I'm gonna have that after I get out of work, I feel like that might hold me over, but we will see. And then I'm also going to bring my Bellway Super Fiber capsules. And these should also help to keep me full throughout the day. And this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Bellway. Thank you so much to them for working with me again. They make fiber supplements and now they have fiber supplements plus greens, which will help you not only get your fiber intake for the day, but it will also help you get in some extra servings of veggies. I know, especially with the holiday season coming around, a lot of us tend to get super busy or we're just, like it, it breaks up our normal routines and it kind of throws off our eating regimen a little bit. So it can sometimes make getting your full serving of veggies and fiber a little bit more difficult. So it's great to have this to add back in what you might be lacking with your food. This one is a powder. You just take a scoop of this and add it to liquid. One scoop of this is equivalent to one serving of real veggies and five grams of fiber. And it doesn't contain sugars, it's gluten-free, and it's 100% vegan. It's formulated with a powerful blend of organic kale, broccoli, spinach, and organic psyllium husk. Other benefits that psyllium fiber can help support are a happy gut, smooth moves, you know a little irregular less bloating healthy blood sugar levels improved heart health and feeling fuller like I said these capsules are really great for me on these days when I have to leave really early in the morning because I can just throw this in my bag and it's just a little bit easier and more convenient when you're on the go so if you guys want to try Bellway for yourself click the link in my description and use my code SAMVEY25 to get 25% off your first order I'm gonna grab all this stuff and head out the door you gotta keep them straight honey we need Oh, I know who's the shoes. Numbers. I know who's the shoes. Can we get another pair of tongs for the hot? It is several hours later. I can't even explain to you the level of exhaustion that I feel right now. I gotta do my skincare, so let's talk while I do that. Work was pretty good. It was just a long day. I work part-time. I usually, because I have a dog, normally I don't have someone come and check in on him throughout the day. So I typically only work like five hour shifts at a time, like five to seven hours. But today I ended up being there for almost nine and a half. 
it was just rough because if you guys saw my last vlog it's just been a very draining week. Benny was sick earlier this week and there were two nights in a row where I didn't get any sleep and then I ended up having to take him to the vet first thing in the morning on Wednesday and I just feel like all week after that I've just felt so drained. Don't mind how crazy I look. This has been my routine lately because my skin was just acting kind of weird. I hadn't changed my routine at all or like the products I was using but I just kept breaking out I think what it might be because I noticed that majority of my breakouts were happening on one side of my face and they were all happening in the same spot like right here and then I realized when I'm at the salon and I answer the phone I hold the phone on this side of my face while I'm like doing stuff on the computer with my right hand and I think the phone from just so many people using it and touching it all throughout the week um it just you know gets bacteria and it needed to be cleaned and I think that's what was causing my breakouts I rubbed the phone down with some alcohol and I don't have any new breakouts this week so I think that's what it was but yeah um I don't know my skin was just like breaking out and just kind of feeling and looking like blah so whenever that happens I just go back to the basics and I don't even bother with all my usual steps I will just make sure that I cleanse really well and then I use the old school Nivea cream in the blue tub I'm telling you this stuff is amazing it does not clog your pores it's for your face and body and Anytime I have issues with my skin, like whether I'm breaking out a lot or my skin feels super dry or it's irritated or I accidentally over exfoliated or whatever. This, at least for me anyway, I am not a dermatologist or an esthetician, so I can only speak for myself and my, you know, and what works for me. But I've been using this stuff for years and years and years. It is tried and true. I've repurchased this so many times. I will just slather a thick layer of this on my face and then go to bed and it just like fixes all of my issues but anyway so she had a bunch of people come over and I'm sorry that I didn't get more vlog footage but I was trying to be in the moment and plus there were a lot of people there and I feel weird like just recording people that don't really know me um there were quite a few people there that I had literally just met for the first time tonight and I just felt weird like recording what was going on without you know like them knowing or their consent like think about how weird that is you're just like hanging out at a friend's house and then next thing you know you are on the internet for tens of thousands of people to watch in someone's video that you don't even know but she made a whole bunch of just plain wings and we all had our own sauce and every person got a plate we dipped one wing in each sauce tried all of them and then we all voted for our favorite one some people actually like made their own homemade sauce from scratch and i was like oh i literally just went to the grocery store and just picked a random one off the shelf that sounded good just a fun little thing to do good idea um and then she had like a bunch of dips and little appetizers and then she also planned a scavenger hunt and they had it, her and her sister did this together it was like so creative and so cute I ended up not staying for that because at that point it was almost nine o'clock and I was like it has been over 12 hours since I've been home I am just exhausted I need to go home I have to shower because then I have to get up early again tomorrow so I just wanted to get home and like get my life together a little bit so that way in the morning I'm not scrambling like a fool because if I was just going to be standing behind the front desk I, I wouldn't care you know it doesn't matter but I'm gonna actually be doing hair tomorrow I want to feel good well rested prepared on my a-game you know so I showered I think I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and I already know what I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow so that's good that's like half the battle sometimes honestly it's already 10 o'clock now so I'm gonna try to get to bed my first client tomorrow is at 10 a.m. so not too terrible I want to get to the salon around 9 30 so that way 
I will have time to set up and get prepared. Today I was scoping out the salon a little bit more and really studying all the products in the color room just so I know exactly what's there and what I'm working with. I don't know. I feel okay. Like I feel pretty confident and comfortable. Part of me is also just like a little nervous because it's just been a while since I've been in the swing of things. I will see you in the morning. And I'm hoping I sleep well tonight so that way I'll feel refreshed in the morning. Good morning. I feel really good this morning. I was a little bit nervous last night because I just felt so tired and honestly last night part of me was kind of dreading today but this morning I actually woke up before my alarm I'm feeling refreshed and I'm excited and I actually feel like really good I thought that I was gonna be a little bit more nervous but I feel like my brain is just automatically going back into stylist mode and even though it's been almost a year since I've taken clients in a salon. I, I, I just feel like I'm getting right back in the groove. Like I'm just, this was my life for so many years, you know, waking up on Saturday mornings. And my schedule for the longest time too was Saturdays, I would have my first client at 10 o'clock. So that's what I'm doing today. And it just feels the way it used to be. Like, I don't know. I just, I mean, we'll see how I feel when I actually get there. But so far, I feel good. I feel excited. I'm just mixing together the Essence Pretty Natural Foundation and the Makeup Forever HD Skin and I'm blending it out with the Morphe M439 brush. It's like a fluffier foundation brush. Today my first two clients are just haircuts and then my last two clients are both just getting darker color. So I feel like that'll be the perfect way to ease back in because I'm not doing anything crazy, no big like color corrections or anything. My worry was not that I was gonna be nervous about doing hair, because like I said earlier, I've still been doing hair this whole time on friends and family. It's not like I stopped doing it altogether. I think it's just like being in this particular salon and like, I don't know, just, knowing where everything is, knowing like the water pressure in the shampoo bowls and like how hot do they typically get and I don't know. I, I think it's because the last salon I was at, I was there for several years so I just knew that place like the back of my hand. I knew every single product that was there. I knew just how everything worked. I just felt so comfortable there so it's just like getting familiar and comfortable with a new space i think is what was making me like a little bit nervous and originally i wanted to have one of my friends come in to be my first client at the salon so that i could have a little bit of like a practice run because i also don't want it to seem it's not like i'm coming straight out of beauty school you know like when i was a brand new stylist I didn't really care if a client could tell I didn't really like feel comfortable or I didn't really know 100% what I was doing. I was still figuring things out, you know, because like I was brand new. I was fresh out of school. But now I don't want people like I feel confident. I know what I'm doing. I know I'm a good stylist and a really good colorist because I'm new to this salon. I don't want them to see me like not even struggle, but just like, I don't know. I don't want them to think like, who is this girl? She doesn't know what she's doing. And then, you know what I mean? I don't know. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because I know what I'm doing and I know it's gonna turn out well. These are just, you know, thoughts going on in my mind. And I just wanted to share them because I feel like this is probably relatable. Whether you also are starting in a new salon, like you just changed salons recently, or if you just graduated school and you're just starting out, or if you're in a similar situation like me where you took a little bit of a break from hair and now you're just getting back into it, just know that if you're feeling this way, I'm right there with you. I'm also feeling it. Just remind myself 
you know what you're doing, you're good at what you do, and even if you don't really know what you're doing and you're just starting out, we all start somewhere, we've all been there, you eventually will know what you're doing and you eventually will become super confident in your work and it'll all be okay. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from Shein and then I'm wearing my combat boots from H&M. I got them a while ago so I'm not sure if these exact ones are going to be available still but I did see almost identical ones at Target recently so I will either link these or if they're not available I'll link Target ones. And then my hair because I slept on this side last night this was like a little bit less curly so I just pinned it back with a couple bobby pins. I'm gonna throw on my black denim jacket and head out. I'm excited! Oh my god, I am <laughs> exhausted. I am so sorry, by the way. I didn't get any footage of my clients. It was just so hectic. And only one of them actually follows me online and like knew who I was. The rest of them were just new to the salon and had called and I just decided to book them with me. So, yeah, I didn't want to like just have a camera recording what I was doing and then be like, um, what? Why are you recording this? You know? And on top of that, I ended up running behind and then I was playing catch up and then I was like doing two people at once. It was a little stressful. So I just didn't. And I also wasn't doing anything like really transformative that was worth like taking pictures of. So I didn't even get like any after pictures or anything like that so I apologize I know that stuff is interesting to watch but I do have a few color corrections and some highlights and stuff coming up over the next few weeks so as I start to like get back into the groove of things I will definitely bring you guys more of the content I used to do when I would just like set up the camera and just record myself and do like a time lapse of me working in the salon. I definitely want to do that again because I missed that. My first two clients were haircuts, but both of them had such thick hair. And honestly, the first client, I realized at one point like I was shaking a little bit. Like I was nervous and not because of the client. Like luckily, thank God, everyone I had was so so incredibly nice and easy going so it was a really good first day I don't know it was weird like doing this again and, and I felt like I was like moving so slowly but then by the end I was like going super fast and like I was just back you know like I, I just felt like I was back it's just so crazy how I, I like it wasn't even like a super long day it wasn't anything crazy but Oh my god, I physically, like my shoulders and my back and my feet are like killing me. And I'm like, how did I used to do this four days a week, every week, for years? Like how? So it's going to take like a little bit of my body kind of getting used to that again. I originally was planning on going out tonight and like celebrating Halloween. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do that. Uh, it's 5 o'clock now, so... I'm just going to chill for a bit and we'll see in a couple hours how I feel if I end up going out um, but I'll check back in a little bit later and I'll let you know what my plan is for the night it's now 8 o'clock 8 12 to be exact and I'm in bed <laughs> I took a nap for a little bit, maybe like an hour or so on the couch. And then I just woke up 
and my wrists were killing me. It, it's embarrassing, kind of. I'm like, holy shit. One day of doing hair for clients and it has taken a toll on my body. <laughs> like, my back and shoulders are feeling better and like my feet feel fine now. And now it's just my wrist and it's like all the way from here, like down into my forearms. And I took Excedrin because I was like trying to massage them and nothing was helping. And it was to the point where it was like just this pulsating nonstop pain. They feel a little bit better, but I don't think it's like fully kicked in yet. So I'm just trying to like keep them elevated. If I keep them elevated, they're not so bad, but I feel like a freaking old woman. Oh my God. Can someone please comment down below and let me know if you also work in like the cosmetology field or the service industry or anything really where you're like on your feet. Did you take a long break and then come back and also feel this same way like please give me a little bit of reassurance here like I this is just so ridiculous <laughs> but I'm kind of upset because tonight I was supposed to go out to celebrate Halloween because Halloween is this Monday if I really wanted to I could force myself and like pull myself together and go I physically just don't feel up to it like all I want to do is just be right where I am in sweats in bed I have my laptop here I'm about to watch some Netflix I have a nice big cup of water I'm just gonna stay home tonight but I'm gonna have major FOMO I already was having FOMO because of last night having to leave early I saw videos of everybody doing the scavenger hunt at my friend's house last night after I left and it just looked so fun and I'm like pissed that I missed out on that but at the same time I I'm glad that I came home and went to bed because I needed it if you went out and celebrated Halloween I hope that you had a good time I will see you in the morning good morning no good afternoon it's 12 already. My friend told me they ended up going out last night and she said she has never seen it so packed downtown. They didn't even end up dressing up because they decided last minute to go out. They couldn't find parking anywhere so they had to park in a parking garage. They got back to the car around 2.30 and because it was so packed and so many people were leaving at the same time, they didn't even make it out of the parking garage until four. So yeah, had I gone out with them, I probably wouldn't have gotten home till at least like 4.30. Even though I do kind of have FOMO and like I kind of wish that I had went out, but I'm just grateful that I didn't, that I just listened to my body and that I stayed home and rested because it was such a good relaxing night. I felt amazing and I feel like, I don't know, like going out is fun, but so often I think the idea of going out is more fun than actually going out. Unless you're like really, really in the mood and like craving a night out, which I wasn't, you know? But I always find that if I force myself and if I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it'll be fun, I'm there and then I'm just wishing like, God, I wish I was home in sweats under the covers. I feel rested, nothing is hurting anymore. And my wrist, I think it was just muscle. Like most of the pain was like, down in my forearms so yeah i think it was just all like muscle fatigue honestly like my body's just not used to doing the motions i was doing for such a prolonged period of time you know but anyway today i have so much laundry that has been piling up so i want to get caught up on that Several hours later, I just had the most relaxing day. I got all of my laundry done. I put all of it away. I still have to make my bed. <laughs> my hair's looking crazy. I think I'm gonna blow it out, but I'm just letting it air dry as much as possible first. And I'm about to make some dinner. I'm gonna make some salmon in the air fryer with white rice 
and some peas and carrots. And then for dessert, I have some chocolate chip cookie dough. So I'm gonna make a couple cookies. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of soy sauce on top. And then black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, And I'm gonna put that in the air fryer. And I cook it for usually like 10 to 15 minutes or so until it gets nice and crispy on the outside. And then I'm gonna make some rice. By the way, I just watched the season finale of Tell Me Lies on Hulu. Lucy and Steven are like made for each other because they are just both the worst human beings. They both suck. I hate both of them. And that final scene, I was like, <laughs> really? I feel like they were just trying to go for the biggest shock value. It's just so messed up. Like, do none of these people have any kind of like friend code or morals? Like, comment down below and let me know if you watched that show and what you think of the finale. Don't give away any spoilers, but does anyone actually like Lucy? Is she supposed to be likable at all in any capacity? Because I literally couldn't stand her from the first scene. I have the rice cooking. Now I'm gonna put the salmon in the air fryer. We'll just start with 10 minutes and then see how it's looking after that. And then I'm gonna take these peas and shred up some carrots. And I'm going to saute those with some minced garlic and some seasonings and then mix it all up. Happy Halloween. I meant to end the vlog last night and then I realized that I never actually recorded an outro clip. So here we are. That's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna start a new one this week. So I'm really trying to stay on top of my uploads and give you consistent videos at least one or two every week. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload so you don't ever miss one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.